is calling it a social media blitz. Clint Dunn is the father of Haley Dunn. The story you watched unfold here on KTAB for years. Haley is the 13 year old who was reported missing from her hometown of Colorado City. Clint Dunn is taking to social media to reignite attention to his daughter's murder. Dunn is posting Facebook Live videos every day until an arrest is made. Haley disappeared just more than eight years ago, remains found three years later, and still no arrests. And the only pu publicly identified person of interest is Sean Adkins, Billy Dunn's boyfriend at the time. KTAB's Claire Kreitz spoke with Clint Dunn just a few hours ago and is in the studio with tonight's top story. Must have been an interesting visit, Claire. It definitely was. We did speak to Clint Dunn today in Big Spring, who has some surprising new theories and claims involving witchcraft and conspiracies. And he's even hired a private investigator to uncover details about his daughter's murder. I'm, I'm scared, and I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't want to know what I'm going to say. I want it to come out totally natural and raw. I want people to see my thoughts and to see my pain. It's been eight years. And this year she's going to have justice. It all began on the eight year anniversary of his daughter's disappearance. It's been too many years of no action. Nothing's been done. So I'm tired of waiting. Clint Dunn is looking at his daughter's case with a new perspective. The last thing that I wanted to think that Sean and Billie Jean had something to do with this. I don't know if I was in denial all these years. That new perspective is time. But now that I've thought about it for eight years, I, it's clear. And their actions are clear. Dunn now working with a private investigator. I got my license for Haley to solve this case. Erica Morse explains why Clint Dunn. When you ask a man to consider that the woman he conceived a child with could have been involved with taking that child out of this world. Was so reluctant to say that Billy Dunn had anything to do with his daughter's disappearance. They're going to fight you on that theory. Clint fought me on that theory for years. But now that Clint is looking at all possible scenarios, the scenario that the pair have been focusing on has to do with a book. I've got to tell you this, he said Billie Jean brought a book over earlier and asked us not to say nothing to nobody and to get rid of it, to burn it or to get rid of it and don't tell anybody. I said, what book? He says, this is some kind of witchcraft book. That book, a witch's Bible, that Clint and his PI believe had something to do with Haley's death black and white pictures of people having orgies, people doing sacrifices, people at altars. Why did Billie Jean want to get rid of this book within a day or two of Haley being missing? And it's because of that book that Clint and his PI say Haley never made it to the sleepover she was scheduled to have and even say that sleepover was never scheduled in the first place. Let me make this clear. Clint has personally spoken with a friend and so has law enforcement. They had no plans for Haley to go there that night. As a matter of fact, Clint believes that Haley never left her home the night before she was reported missing. The truth is going to come out soon. I believe this with all my heart. I know this is going to happen. They're not getting away with this. Now about that witchcraft book, we spoke to Scurry County investigators and we also asked them about a rug with a pentagram that was allegedly taken into evidence. They say they can neither confirm or deny those allegations. That investigator we talked to doesn't like to call Haley Dunn's case a cold case. In fact, he has a binder sitting on his desk behind him he says he looks at often. And what about that scheduled sleepover? This investigator says they've heard the same story, that it was never scheduled. Reporting in studio with coverage you can count on, Claire Kreitz, KTAB News.